When I was in Bosnia one day, we were protecting, we were actually safeguarding a village. It was too dangerous for the villagers to come home yet. There's still a lot of killing. And so I was there with my soldiers and some villagers were trying to sleep, uh, sneak past us. And I told the leader, stop, it's too dangerous, you have to wait. And he hauled back and he spat on me. And my soldiers pulled out their weapons and locked and loaded on the villagers. And I realized I can't have anybody get killed over being spit on. And I looked down at the spit and I just broke out laughing. And then the villagers started laughing. The leader didn't know what to do. But right then we became people again instead of being this lean, mean, green machine. So I knew that as soon as I used humor, I diffused the whole situation. And I think humor is actually a leadership trait. You have to appreciate others. You have to show them that you respect them. You will not get respect until you show respect. And I think there's some people who don't understand that. And the more you understand your employees and why they're there and what their gifts are, then you'll be able to embrace that and use it. And then they will want to work for you. So start off with respect first. I really believe you need to know what your strengths are, but you also need to know what you're weak at. Such as I can make a decision really fast, but I don't always think it through. So I hire people who will actually think through a problem and who'll slow me down so I make the best decision. So I think every leader should understand their strengths and their weaknesses and bring in people who can do, who have the strength of your weakness. Well, some things women aren't doing enough of is first of all, letting people know what skills they bring, kind of rolling out your resume so that your male peers, your boss, understand all your gifts and successes. Because if you don't tell, it didn't happen. And then the other thing is to ask for what you want. Go to your boss and ask for it. I had one boss, after I had my second child, who did not give me a position. I asked why, and he said, oh, I thought you were too busy. You know, you're a mother, and you're this, and you're that. And you didn't ask for it. And I realized, well, that was my mistake. So ask for what you want.